So I'm going to do a night out tomorrow and I thought I'd just run through what I'm taking. It's supposed to rain the whole time. So my 10 is um, Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. It's really big. Um, and I've just got the little light and a little bit tarp to put sort of in the um, you know vestibule area. Um, I've just got a mountain warehouse sleeping bag, which is not the best, but that's what I've got at the moment. The mat is just from Decathlon. I've got a Thermarest, but it's in repair, so I'm taking this silver thing to go underneath it, reflect some heat back. That way it's basically nothing, and just a little inflatable pillow. Got my stove. I'm actually <laughs> taking a wooden spoon, which looks really daft, but it weighs 12 grams, and I've got some pasta stuff I want to cook, so I don't want to be scraping it around with my titanium fork. I lost my titanium spoon, so taking that one. This is a little windshield I just made out of, it's one of them foil trays, but it works really well just to keep the wind off and weighs again like nothing. Taking my water filter, um, Sawyer Squeeze Mini, don't know if I'll be able to find a water source, there isn't usually one on this route, so I'll probably have to go into a shop and get some water, but we'll see how we go. Toiletry bits and a mask because I think I'll have to go in a shop to get water. Food. I eat loads. So that's not even everything I'm taking. I'm going to take a sandwich as well. Um, and just my little bum bag with hand sanitizer, tissues, my phone will go in there. Um, electronics. Head torch. Anchor. Power bank. Yes, yeah, so that's about it. Oh, all my clothes for sleeping in because it's going to chuck it down the whole time. So we need lovely dry clothes to sleep in and I get well cold so I take a ridiculous amount of clothes as I say my sleeping bag's not the best so yeah nice dry clothes to sleep in and that's my rucksack from Decathlon hopefully we'll be good Hi, we're on our way. Here we are on Dunstable Downs. This is the start or the end of the Ridgeway Link Trail. The visitor centre there. If you're ever walking around these parts, there's a water tap behind there so you can get water. Ivinghoe Beacon, which is the end of um, the Ridgeway Link. Jordan's on the Ridgeway is over there somewhere, you can't see it now. You can usually see it, but there's the weather. Looks like there's plenty of water about today. That's, that's not supposed to be a stream, by the way. <laughs> and usually around here, there's like no water sources. It looks like today might, might be okay, might be able to get some. If not, we'll stop at a little village called Dagnor get some more, I think it's just over halfway. It's one way to do it, isn't it? There's loads of people under there. Dry. Just coming up to a nice place called Whipsnay Tree Cathedral now. My massive pack. It looks like I'm doing some sort of month long expedition in the Andes. I weighed it this morning and it was 23 pounds base weight so that's without food and water and 29 with water and food so but it feels okay so far my boots are dry we're about two miles in but it's all good it's so pretty So this here is um, Whipsnay Tree Cathedral. It's like, oh my god, you can't see anything. Oh yeah. So it's um, trees all laid out in the shape of a cathedral. Really nice. I might find somewhere to stop and have something to eat here. I'll skip breakfast in all the excitement. I'm getting hungry. Don't want to get hangry.
high five tree. They're massive. A hedgehog bench. It's cute, cute. Now entering Whipsnade. Let's go. We're walking down a path now behind um, Whipsnade Zoo. Ah! Oh my God! Look, path like a river. Um. So usually I'd be able to show you some animals moseying about but I don't think they'll be out today might get a slug or something this is the zoo one of the enclosures but there's nothing about and I've managed to keep my boots dry the whole time and I don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to now look at that there is no way around that oh well Wallaby! Hi friend! Hi hi! Are you doggy? Me too. There's a camel over there. I can't believe the animals are out. Can you see him? I can't see many any more than that. Massive. What's that? Oh that, that thing went in front. That's something else. What are they? You see them? I don't know what they are, but behind that there's a massive camel. Huge is. Wow. About four and a half miles in. The rain's eased off a bit now. It's still raining, but it's not too bad. I've got a feeling the clothes I'm wearing under my waterproofs are damp. I don't think they're soaking. It's okay, but I, I'm pretty sure we'll be putting wet clothes on in the morning. So that'll be fun. I'm really enjoying it. It's nice to see the animals as well. Hello, tiny mushroom. How pretty are them bushes? Like yellow, red, purple. So pretty. A little bit of road walking down here. But it's a nice little quiet country road. Got a nice little view. So that's Ivanhoe Beacon over there. There. That's where we're headed. Let's go. So you come off that road. Um, see on here. So there's a Ridgeway Link. We're going through this gate. And this little path here is going to take us all the way down into Dagnall. So I'm going to stop in Dagnall and just top up my water. I think I'm just going to top it up to two litres. And then if I need more, because that's got to do me the rest of today, overnight and the morning. Um, and part of the way home as well, actually. So if I need more, there's just water everywhere. So I'm going to... Um, I just feel it's something from a puddle or something. There's no actual streams or rivers, but I think it'll be all right. Um, I don't want to carry too much up the beacon because I'm already heavy. And I think, yeah, two litres will be fine for now. in High Beacon but first we've got to go all up this hill and across through the woods Here. So over there, the stuff. 
studs to go down. So we've walked across there through Whipsnay Tree Cathedral, round, down through Dagnall, up here. And that's where we're going. By the way, if you come through here in, I think it's like late spring or maybe early summer, it um, smells of garlic because of all the wild garlic everywhere. Gorgeous woods either. And a bit further down, it's all evergreen trees. It's really beautiful. I absolutely love it here. It's like you go from our sort of normal English woodland into a little dark, mag magical um, place full of evergreens and it's so gorgeous and it's so quiet. It's one of my favorite places over here. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the beacon and I think I'm gonna come back here and find somewhere to camp tonight. Maybe right over there, somewhere away from the path. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Started over there, so we've come all the way around. Through there. Up here. And that is just over nine miles in the end. Way to 
to Ivanhoe Beacon, which was just over nine miles in the interim um, from where I live, seven and a half from Dunstable Downs. Um, so yeah, it stopped raining, and I think I might get off lightly. I think I might be able to pitch the tent in dry weather, which I wasn't expecting. So that's good. I'm going to walk along the top over here to the car park and see if the ice cream man is there. And if he is, I'll get some water there. And then we'll go find somewhere to pitch. Yay! Yes, ice cream man! Oh my god. Yay! Hi, so I found me a lovely little spot to camp for the night. I love it in these woods, I'll show you. All the evergreens, there's nothing really massive that can fall on me from up there, they're just little spindly branches, so that's fine. This bit here gives me a bit of sort of camouflage. There's a path over there but I'm pretty hidden from it. I'm pretty covered from every direction actually. I love it. a gorgeous um, evening now so I'll show you around my tent this is the nature height cloud peak too as you can see it's massive but it's pretty light for how big it is but it's so lovely and spacious so I've got all my um, rucksack and wet stuff out here although it's pretty much dry now actually and my little bit of tarp down and my stove out here because um, it's got these little tag things to fold everything out of the way and it's huge my light this is my decathlon cheapy air mattress and little pillow sleeping bag got me electronic stuff food water so I've got those two bottles and that left so I think we'll be alright um, all my dry warm clothes and stuff over here and my toiletries so yeah all set up and it's got this pocket as well which is really handy to put stuff in and there's another little pocket over there and hook for your light and it's got two doorways so there's one over that side and a vestibule on that side as well so there's two vestibules two doorways really good tent i love it and so it looks like on that side That's my view. By the way, these are the trousers I was wearing under my um, waterproof trousers. And they're actually, they're not too bad. They're soggy round the top, 
wear it because my whole top got drenched. The the waterproof jacket top thing didn't work quite so well. But the bottoms are pretty much dry, you know. Really good. And they were um those waterproofs were just decathlon cheapies, so considering what they went through earlier, that's pretty good. My top is still wet, but the bottom's dry. So I'm just hanging my wet stuff out in the other vestibule. Trousers and my tops over here. See if it's dry by tomorrow. And we can close that. Well handy, isn't it? I'm all cosy in my sleeping bag. I cook some food in a little while. Um, so it ended up being just under 11 miles today. Just chilling out now. I've not seen a single person since I got here, so I think this is quite a good little spot. I love it. Just cooking up some pasta. I think there's some kind of fight going on. <laughs> Just boiling up some water for some hot chocolate with whiskey in. These baby um, food pouches are brilliant for camping. Don't waste them on baby food, put alcohol in. It's such a gorgeous night. I think it's just starting to rain again. Just lightly. This is... Um, I think it's my favourite spot actually that I've well camped at. I absolutely love it here. It's so warm and still and you can hear all the animals doing their thing, moseying about, squawking around. I love it. I feel so cosy and relaxed. So and I'm tired now, so I'm gonna get some rest and see you in the morning. not had much sleep. It's the rain is so noisy. I didn't bring earplugs. And my pillow is broken so it keeps deflating. Also it was 11 degrees when I first went to bed so it's nice and warm. So I opened my sleeping bag up to use it like a quilt because I like to be like not restricted with my legs. And then I woke up at 5 a.m. Pretty cold. So let's do it all back up again. Put my hat on. I'm quite cosy now. It's really hard to get motivated to um, get up and get going when it's like this. But I've got lamb chops later, so that'll get me home. I love a lamb chop. Currently 8 degrees, so it's a pretty mild night. I'm just using a summer sleep system, but it's fine. I still feel pretty warm now. I'm all done up actually. Ooh. So I put my cook pot outside last night to see if we can get any rainwater. 
And we have. Oh yay, that's not bad actually. Uh, no. So we can use that for breakfast. Because we're getting low. Yay! I wasn't sure if it would get any. Alright, time to make porridge. Just noticed the state of my cook pot from, <laughs> from leaving it outside all night and like the mud splashing back up it. <laughs> Horrible. Can't beat porridge and coffee made with rainwater. That's just the best. It's dawn. I've had my breakfast. I'm gonna get everything packed away in a little while. <laughs> get back to walking. up all that I can from inside the tent and um, I put on some semi wet clothes from yesterday. I'm going to have to put my wet boots on now and pack the tent up in the rain. up. I love this little spot. Bye trees. That tent um, did amazing. Oh look, all these mushrooms. Cool, aren't they? So yeah, it lashed it down all night and it didn't let a drop of rain in. It's grand. My pack feels pretty heavy because obviously the tent's soaked. And I forgot to bring like a little microfiber cloth or something to try and get some of the rain. So it's um, it's quite heavy. And we've got a litre of water left. So I think that'll be fine actually. I think that's perfect. I've managed to get lost in the smallest whiz ever. <laughs> no idea where I am or what direction I'm supposed to go. I think um, when I went in looking for somewhere to pitch last night I've just done so many like twists and turns looking for a nice little spot I've completely lost my brains where I thought I was facing is not where I was facing at all which is fine yeah I've got GPS on my phone and um, I've got a compass as well yeah a bit weird found the trail again just goes to show how easy it is to get lost though hi guys See where we're going from here so we're going to go all the way along here and then there's that really long path down there through some farmland then we're going to go through Dagnall up the road and then up a little path that leads to another road that leads to our Whipsnay golf course which I think is that there I'm going to go across that round all the way around the back of Whipsnay Zoo through Whipsnay and then through the tree cathedral which is probably over there and then through um, the top of Dunstable Dales, which is along over here somewhere. So we're going in like a big horseshoe.
I just saw the weirdest animal. It was like the size of a fox but grey and it had white tufts on its ears and white rings on its tail. It looked like a lynx or something but I know it can't have been a lynx. Maybe it's a mancoon or that them big cats, mancoons or grey fox. I don't know if they exist. Just having a little rest under this tree. Um, yeah, so I definitely need to get a warm sleeping bag for winter. I'm torn between getting a Z-Pax imported from the US or a RAB 900 from the UK. So if anyone's got any input on either of those, that would be really appreciated. Um, I just want to say as well, if um, for beginners looking to get into this, not tried it before and you're not sure, um, you really don't need expensive stuff. Um, for three seasons like April to October you can get by with really basic things. Um, I started with a Van Gogh Soul 200 which did me really well. I only went up to this tent because um, of the headroom in it but something like that is fine and it's like £50. My stove's like £7 from China. My sleeping mat was from Decathlon. wasn't a lot of money, I can't remember what it was. And the silver mat that goes underneath that was a tenner um, off eBay. I can't remember how much my sleeping bag was, but it wasn't it wasn't expensive. It might have been like 25 quid or something from Mountain Warehouse. Um, so yeah, you don't need expensive stuff. Just do it. Um, and if you're a lone female like me, same. Just, just get out there and do it. I mean, people think I'm crazy, but this is life to me. This is what it's all about. This is what we're designed for. I love my bed and my comforts as much as the next person, but this is good for the soul and it's good for confidence. You know, and it's, it's good for self-development. It's, um, it's really good. I love it. And I think you might love it as well. So don't be afraid and just um, like test it out. When I started, I, I would park up and walk about a mile with all the stuff just so I know what I'm capable of carrying what I'm not capable of carrying as well um, get used to it close to the car and if all goes wrong you can bail and there's nothing wrong with that you should always bail if things are going wrong and try again next time it's a learning curve but definitely get out here and do it it's, it's wonderful look at this path <laughs> It's like an actual stream. Hmm. You see the wallabies? There's three of them. Hi! They're not moving. Fifteen point three miles since we left yesterday. I think I've got three or four left to go. I'm getting really hungry. I've eaten all that food. I always think I'm taking too much, and people always say, "Oh, you won't eat as much as you think you're going to," but I do because I love food. Half the river.
I'm going to be home soon. This has been 18 miles in the Chilterns. Um, the Ridgeway link from Dunstable Downs to Ivanhoe Beacon and back while camping in the middle. It's been amazing. There's all these grand epic places further up north and whatnot, which I love and are incredible, but you really don't need to go that far to have a little adventure. So just make the most of the time you've got and your own personal circumstances and um, yeah, get out there. Life is what you make it. Just fell right on my ass.